when I was kind of searching for, uh, for, for band members and trying to think of what to do, I, at that time I got invited to, to my first anime convention. I was in 2006. Um, so since then I've been to 147, I think this makes So, a lot of comments. <laughs> but I actually grew up going to San Diego Comic Con and I thought, oh yeah, that's cool. But when someone invited me at, uh, in, like an anime con, I was like, that's awesome. There's going to be like a ton of Asian people there. I could kind of meet some of them. <laughs> so, so you know what's up. Um, meet some of them. Maybe some of them play music instruments I can, and I can get this band going. Um, the first time I went to one, uh, within like 20 minutes was what when I learned what the word glomp means. Because <laughs> I was just walking up the steps and somebody runs and tackles me. And they're like, oh, Asian. And I was like, there, there's not more of me here. <laughs> but I remember like just walking through and I was like, this is awesome. People are like celebrating the culture. Um, so this is definitely a place I want to be. I just didn't find any band members there. Within a couple of months of that convention though, we, we booked our first convention. I didn't even have a full band. That, they were just like, you're Asian? Come on in. <laughs> so that was cool. But um, we, we started getting into a lot of interesting run-ins there. <coughs> Uh, number one, our original lineup did have somebody who's Japanese. We had some, we had someone who's Korean, Vietnamese, and kind of like this Pan Asian mix, like I said. But we would go to conventions, and um, people would say, "Hey, you know, do you do you guys sing in Japanese?" We're like, "No, we we don't. Our singer is Vietnamese. He he only speaks English, and and so that's it." And um, and they would just some people would be like, "Okay," and kind of walk away disappointed. Um, and others to, you know, accepted it. Um, but I always thought it was really interesting because a lot of it, uh, anime conventions kind of celebrate like multiple facets of Asian culture. And I thought, well, even still, like the stormtrooper right down there, he's, that's not like an Asian character from an like, anime or something yet. Like, or the guy dressed up as Jack Sparrow is more accepted than like my not all Japanese band. So I always thought it was kind of weird. Another time we were actually in Tulsa, Oklahoma, for a convention out there. And I remember I was sitting there and I just walked into the elevator and someone ran up to me and said, hey, 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 do you speak Japanese? And I was like, no. <laughs> I was like, sorry, I just, I just speak Mandarin. And then, um, and he was like, oh, well, what does Watashi wa mean? I was like, sorry, dude, that's Japanese. I gotta go. <laughs> um, it's one of the more amusing things, but I remember another time was we were there and they were kind of asking about the ethnicity of the band. I was like, well, we're gonna look at this pan-Asian band where Asian Americans of different backgrounds. And, and they're like, so you're not like a J-rock or J-pop band or like a Japanese band? And I'm like, no. They said, well, you're like the wrong kind of Asian. <laughs> so I'm like, you know, those white kids running this con aren't the wrong kind of Asian, but, but I am. I mean, it's just one of those interesting things that in a place where I thought there would be acceptance, that even then, we were just getting rejected.